This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Very interesting that we found that unicorn is in the Torah. Although we think it's only a mythical, legendary animal that's completely fiction, but we take a look in the Torah, an animal with one horn was created in two times. One time for Adam Rishon and another time at the Mishkan. Adam Rishon had that unicorn called Tachash, and then Orot Techashim in the Mishkan. Rashi explains it was created only for then in order to use it for the Mishkan, and then it disappeared. That Tachash had two unique features. One is that it had one horn only. And second uniqueness was the colors that it had on the skin. Rashi tells us the word Tachash means Sasgona. Sasgona shesas v'sameach bet gvanav, which means it had many colors and it was proud and happy to show off that colors. And therefore, that unicorn is a special animal with those two features. But when we speak about Adam Rishon, it seems like the emphasis is only on the horn because it doesn't say one word about the colors. And even more so, it says over there, Makrin Mafris, the Pasuk in Tehilim. And Rashi explains there that the unicorn was born and created in a very special way. He came out from the ground horns and head first. Imagine an animal that's created from the ground comes out just like that. And the horns were coming out first. Emphasis again on the horn. Adam Rishon, a kriv, such an animal that had one horn, says Chazal. Why is it that we emphasize the horn when we're dealing with Adam Rishon? But then, in the Mishkan, we don't say a word about the horn of the Tachash, but rather the beautiful colors that he had around the skin. The Mephoshim explained that he had six colors. And I think the Perush is because when a person brings a Korban, he looks at the Chesronot, he looks at the things that he's lacking. When Adam Rishon brings a Korban, he brings with such a Korban that shows the things that it's lacking. It's lacking a horn. He has only one. And that is something that's not a good feature by an animal because the horns are there to survive, to be able to gore others and defend himself and get his prey animal. But when we're talking about the Mishkan, we need to know that the idea by the Mishkan is to bring the Shekhinah to the Mishkan. And to bring the Shekhinah to the Mishkan, Chazal tells us, is only with Simcha. And Shekhinah Shora Ela Mitoch Simcha Shel Mitzvah. And the Zohar says that when a Jew is happy, he brings the Simcha from Olamot HaElyonim. So therefore, in order to have Simcha in Beit HaMikdash, in the Mishkan, HaKadosh Baruch Hu used the Tachash, because the Tachash had this special feature, that although it had a Chisaron, that it only has one horn, but it didn't pay attention to that. Rather, he only emphasis the Ma'alot that it had, that are the colors that surround the skin, all different colors. And he was sus. That was his nature. The name brings out the nature of the person that has that name. And the Tachash name was Simcha, Sas, Sasgona. Why? Because all he was looking at is only those beautiful colors that he had. And he completely ignored the things that are not as good by him. And therefore says HaKadosh Baruch Hu, when it's the Mishkan, I need such a Mishkan that represents happiness so I can dwell in there. That comes to teach us. When we do something, we need to always pay attention to what we're doing. If it's tshuva, if we want to change our ways, we look at the chesronot, at the bad things that we have. But if we want to bring the shechina, we want to come home and have the happiness in there, you use a totally different feature. And that is the mode of happiness. That is the key to bring the shechina to the house. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.